Welcome to the AACS Daily News for October 11th, 2016. Students recently had a chance to learn more about Arab culture. Arab musician, dancer, and folklorist Kareem Nagy recently gave a musical presentation to a full auditorium at Bristol Community College. We spoke with him after his presentation. My name is Kareem Nagy and I'm an Arab musician, dancer and folklorist and I'm coming to the um, Bristol Community College Network over the past two days to give a lecture about Arabic music, dance and culture to uh, the attendees. Well, of course, there's no uh, real motivation needed to in play music and dance because that's all very enjoyable, but it's also a chance for me to introduce uh, American audiences uh, about our, our culture, the Arab culture, the Muslim world, which gives people a second view of this part of the world that's mostly uh, on the news shown in very negative and confrontational light. So it's just a way to balance out the, uh, the bad reputation. I brought several instruments and, and, and this is probably a great example. Everybody in America knows what a tambourine is. This would be a little bit different, same idea, but it's made of the fish skin and the wood and metal, uh, metal symbols, brass symbols. It's called rik. But because it's, uh, for us, it's an ancient instrument and it's a classical instrument, there's a different technique. I can play, you know, like this. I can play like this. Like this. So this is a good example of uh, an instrument that might be semi-familiar to people here in the United States, but I can show them the Arabic version and how the technique is different even though it's something that's familiar. I think that uh, the people are engaged and interested and, um, and, and I'm appreciative of that. Uh, I, I like to use humor, I like to use a lighthearted approach because I, I don't need this topic to be any more grave and serious than, it, than it's already perceived to be. So I thought in this case, in this environment, that uh, the students here in, uh, in uh, uh, BCC Attleboro were extremely receptive and uh, participatory as well. If you put my name in Google, you'll find that I have uh, uh, educational videos, how to play music music, how to do folk dancing, plus my own contemporary work as well, uh, uh, mixing English and Arabic language, mixing different musical styles as well as the traditional stuff. So that's the best way for people to continue their curiosity. I really appreciate the opportunity to share my culture and for people to um, take heed of the cultural side of the Arab and Muslim world and not just uh, uh, be preoccupied with the political and religious side as well. The cultural side will, will bring us closer together. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.